Welcome back everyone, Max here with Catra Hunting and today's video is going to be a little bit different because I scored a nice bag of junk silver, especially mostly foreign junk silver at a local flea market and I got it for a very decent price and wanted to share it with you guys. I know there's a little bit of US silver in there. There is, I think, I saw a couple of older Canadian dimes as well and there's even a small piece of silver bullion in there. Uh, but mostly I haven't searched it at all. I have no idea what's in there really. I had a little bit of a peek, but I didn't go through it yet. So uh, let's see together what's in there. I'm gonna go through this and uh, sort it out. But first, let's just pour it out here together, guys, because pouring out silver is just so nice. Here we see is a nice, nice little bag of junk silver. I'm super happy with it because I didn't have a score like this for a longer time. This was actually from a a scrap metal dealer who mainly deals in jewelry and uh, spoons and uh, cutlery and stuff like this who was pretty willing to get rid of those coins and gave me a good deal so I am super happy with this uh, yeah without further ado I'm gonna uh, sort those coins out and tune you guys back in and show you what I got all right we have everything nicely sorted out here and I'm super happy with the result we have like a nice super nice mix of foreign uh, junk silver coins here and even a few really nice oldies but let's start with the stuff on the bottom that makes up the majority of the stack because we have a bunch of those South African three pence pieces um, some of them are 80% some of them are 50% silver all of those ones here are 80%ers the King George's there's a few King George years that are only 50%ers and the young heads over here are all 50%ers but there's a super cute nice tiny silver coins very very nice um, big fan of those pretty pretty cute uh, then we have a few very old ones here also three pence uh, south africa um, king george v coins so very nice there a uh, bunch of six pence pieces here again most of them are 50 percent silver some are 80 percenters and all the one shilling south africa that we have over here are 50 percenters they're all young heads but still very very nice a bunch of south african uh, silver coinage here uh, then down here we have a few australian coins uh, everything very very common coins nothing special here at all uh, most of them are also 50 percent silver uh, we have two three pence here a bunch of thick six pence and uh, one shilling so that's all uh, nothing very exciting but just bike silver coins but still very very nice to have this uh, beautiful foreign designs so i'm a big fan of that um, Let's go to the next row. This is all British coins and we have a lot of common 50% uh, 3 and 6 pence pieces here. Uh, even though we have a few sterling 3 pence pieces here, the 1919s are all 92.5% silver, so those are a bit nicer. Uh, the best coin here with the British one is definitely this uh, 1846 Victorian coin. Uh, it's a very beat up condition. Somebody punched a hole in there, but it's still a very, very beautiful coin. Absolutely amazing. Almost 200 years old. Very, very nice to find this in junk silver coins here. Super, super happy about that. Uh, every other every other British coin is not really, really rare or anything special, uh, but still very, very nice. A good variety of junk silver here. Uh, let's go to the upper row. That's like the US and uh, European stuff and also this uh, nice one-tenth of a troy ounce fine silver coin here with a beautiful railway uh, truck on there and it is from monarch precious metals so very nice uh, one-tenth of an ounce bullion here so that's a very very nice one i bought that extra that was not in the junk silver coin uh, we just bought that to make it a re even number uh, then two of the best coins of the bunch definitely is this Russian 10 Kopex 1882 and uh, Russian coins are very popular people love Russian coinage and uh, this one is a nice old good condition Russian silver coin so that's very very beautiful uh, the one here next to it is actually the oldest coin of the bunch and that is a German coin which makes me happy because that's my favorite coinage to find and this one is actually a Württemberg 18063 Kreuzer. So it's a very, very old, tiny silver coin. It's in very, very worn condi condition, as you guys can see. 
uh, but you can make out the date and you can make out the details if you look very very closely a beautiful old coin very very happy about that uh, then we had a bunch of other European uh, pretty common silver coins uh, we have a half franc from Switzerland here 1920 uh, that one is also a nice one because it has a high silver percentage uh, then we have 25 and 10 or here from Sweden uh, Cute little silver coins. Um, then we have two 10 cents Netherlands here, 64% silver. And we have actually one other of the oldest coins that we found here. It's also a Dutch coin. King Wilhelm, 25 cents, 1849 or 1848. I couldn't make out the date exactly, uh, but this coin has only been made in those two years, so it must be one of those. Uh, very, very nice find. Another coin that's almost 200 years old in this beautiful junk silver bunch uh, and this one here is actually a one tenth of a golden uh, Brit sorry one tenth of a golden Dutch uh, West Indy coin so that's a very very nice one has beautiful Asian uh, design on the back so that looks very very pretty and uh, this guy you probably recognize this is a tenth of a Balboa Panama 1933 90% uh, silver coin. Very, very nice. I think they're made by the US Mint, if I'm not mistaken. And then the upper row is the few bigger coins we have at the US and Canadian silver that was in the bunch. So here we have a one mark Germany 1905. Very, very nice coin. Another one for me that I like a lot. Um, not anything special, but just a nice old German coin. Uh, then we have this chunky 5 for silver coin, uh, very very pretty, very very nice, 1960, just a chunky nice silver coin. Uh, three 1964 Washington quarters, so common US 90% junk silver. The same here with the three mercury dimes we have here. Um, we have a 1943, a 1945 and a 1935, so that's very very nice coinage. Uh, and then we have the two Canadian coins that I had, and they're both George the Fifth dimes, and one is 1916 and one is 1920. Um, no very special years here, but still a hundred year old Canadian silver dimes, always very nice to find that. Uh, my favorites here out of the bunch are definitely like the oldies. I'm a huge fan of, uh, of the old European coins. Very, very beautiful to find stuff like this for junk silver price. That makes me very, very happy, uh, especially those three. Uh, very, very nice coinage in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of content and I will do it again if I find some nice junk silver to show you guys. Um, until then, I hope you guys have already subscribed. If not, if not, I would be really, really grateful if you guys would do that. Helps me out a lot and uh, see you guys next time.